Most people in America are familiar with what their rights are and aren't. Some people in America, though, think they have rights over another human being's body. We've been talking about this quite regularly on this audio cast program because there are men and there are women of all walks of life, of all colors in America, of diversity, that think they have rights to abuse another person's body. The constant harangment and harassment that's been going on with my beard on my pagan priest's face is really fucking pissing me off. If you haven't figured that out from the rants and the rages that you've heard throughout the different aspects of the shows here, you better really figure this out. Because your rights clearly don't mean anything to you. Because the minute you attacked, the minute you did this inappropriate behavior, the minute you kept thinking that you were in charge of someone else's life, you lost your own rights to your life. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and I've been speaking the truth to you almost every day. I've literally been communicating to you every day that this is my life, and this is my body, and I will do with it what I wish. You will not impede me, you will not impact me, you will never make your, me your little delish. You see, the people who do this are immoral. The bitches who play this game are illegal. And I promise you, there's going to be a point in time when God's going to wake me outside of this slumber that has been abusively placed on me, and you will die. I won't be the one handling it. God will handle it. You see, God takes all people in the end. And you say, great, that'll be a couple hundred years off. No, it's not. Jesus has the right to give you COVID for your abuse of another person. And I can throw this out there and you can make fun of what I say, but the truth is, you might already have it. And you might already have it because you've abused God. You've abused Jesus' rights to do things for other people so that people are safer in the night. And you just didn't think about what it would be like if someone turned around and did the same things to you. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and I continue to speak the truth to you about my life, my loves, my experiences in business, and openly my predictions where what happens to people who do not follow life rules. Life rules say, this is my situation, this is my information, and those are your pieces of information. You see, in life, we have a right to do things. We have the right to become things. We have the right to be things. But you don't have the right to insist that someone else has to be right for you today. In life, we have moments of time to speak about alleyways. Alleyways is something that people like to marvelously talk about as if they have a way to get around something that they've done illegal or immoral. It is highly illegal for you to hack a person's life. It is incredibly immoral for you to attack a person's life. It is incredibly illegal for you to touch a person in the night. and It is incredibly immoral for you to think it's all right. You have failed yourself, you have failed your version of God, and you have completely failed our society mores. And if you don't get that, that's not on my life, it's on yours. And if you don't stop, it's not on my life, it's on yours. But what you thought was that you could just keep pushing on me for was philanthropic ability. And the answer is no. You failed yourself when you couldn't believe that someone needed a little free Wi-Fi. You failed yourself when you thought you had the rights to cut off my beard in the night. And you failed yourself when you produced yourself as some representation of some version of a community. Because the version of a community that you represent is hate. And Americans do hate haters today. 